Jury selection began today in the high profile case of Christopher Clemens. He's accused of kidnapping and murdering six year old Isabel Sellis in 2012. And back in September, Clemens was convicted for the murder of Mirabel Gonzalez and sentenced to life in prison as his second murder trial prepares to get underway. News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo is live from downtown with more on what happened today in Superior Court. Lupita. Well, Sean, I can tell you that jury selection began at 10 o'clock. It's unknown if the process is still going on in Judge Jane Mariner's courtroom. That's because uh, the media isn't allowed in his court uh, during this process. But I can tell you that this is a very high-profile case. When it hit the news, uh, you're horrified because it's every parent's nightmare. Mike Picoretto is a well-known criminal defense attorney. He has over 40 years experience going before a jury and tackling high-profile cases. He says there's a fear that runs through the community when a child is kidnapped. In this case, six-year-old Isabel Celis was taken from her midtown home while she was sleeping. I know it's a high-priority case and people working on it, and eventually uh, they never gave up and put, it, and put together who they believe uh, uh, is, was a person who committed the act. For five years, Tucson police worked the case and got the break they needed. They located Isabel's remains in a remote area in Pima County and charged Christopher Clements with her kidnapping and murder. Now a jury will decide whether those beliefs can be proven beyond a reasonable doubt. And coming up at 5 o'clock, Mike Picoretta discusses the jury selection process, reporting live from downtown. Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.